Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The famous Moai statues of Easter Island are one of the most enigmatic ancient mysteries that have long baffled the experts, but new research claims to have shedded light on exactly what their purpose was. There are in total approximately 900 statues on this small island located in the Pacific Ocean. Most are found around the coast and the majority are carved from solidified volcanic ash sometime between the years 1200 and 1600 AD. But there are a handful of older moai made of harder basalt and could date back hundreds if not thousands of years earlier, as some are used in the bases of the later variants. An example of a basalt moai is seen today standing in the British Museum. But researchers from New York's Binghamton University are suggesting that the now lost civilization of Easter Island used the iconic statues to signal locations where fresh water was available. Anthropologist Carl Lippo has been looking into how the local Rapa Nui people were able to survive with such limited access to drinking water. He led a team who conducted field studies of groundwater around the coast. Dr Lippo wondered how, with no springs or streams and very little rainfall, did the civilization of approximately 15,000 to 20,000 people survive, a mystery that many have overlooked when studying the ancient Moai of Easter Island. Testimonies of the first European explorers said that the people of Easter Island were forced to rely on brackish groundwater when there was a shortage of fresh water such as droughts, and the finds were published in the Hydrogeology Journal. The water is saltier than fresh water, but not as salty as seawater, and can be found in coastal areas. The study says, two field surveys indicate abundant locations of brackish but potable water along the coastline. Although coastal groundwater sources are of poor quality, they were apparently sufficient to support the population. The water was intercepted by trenches, possibly collected in small ponds or just recovered from the surface of seawater. The study states that this is why the civilization built the magnificent 9 metre high statues for which Easter Island is now famous. Dr Lippo added, Now that we know more about the location of fresh water, the location of these monuments and other features makes tremendous sense. He continued, they are positioned where fresh water is immediately available. Fortunately, water beneath the ground flows downhill and ultimately exits the ground directly at the point at which the porous subterranean rock meets the ocean. When tides are low, this results in the flow of fresh water directly into the sea. Humans can thus take advantage of these sources of fresh water by capturing the water at these points. Interestingly, there are no identifiable brackish water sources inland, and unsurprisingly, there are no Moai statues inland either. Where there is water, there is life, and having huge symbols of life, human statues, at the sources of the groundwater makes complete sense, and many of the statues are seen to be carrying objects on their heads. Could these objects actually be water vessels? Has there been evidence for these new claims staring us in the face all along? The researchers now aim to further explore the link between the location of the Moai and the accessibility to drinking water, which remains a key piece of the puzzle when figuring out what happened to the lost civilization and also how they built these magnificent statues. It's believed the Rapa Nui people met their demise upon the arrival of European explorers, with many succumbing to disease. These new revelations from Dr Lippo certainly give us a great deal to think about, and as there are similar statues at various sites around the world, could their link to water actually tell us more about other now lost ancient civilizations? Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.